Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. I feel like I haven't been on this channel for forever. As you can see, well, I don't know if you can tell, but my background has changed. We literally just moved, like, on Sunday. I'm filming this on... I don't even know what day it is today. I think it's Wednesday. All the days are just meshing into one, so I guess we moved officially three days ago. I hope it's not too echoey in here. I don't really have, like, a lot set up yet so so obviously when rooms are empty it gets a little echoey so i hope it doesn't bother you guys too much also i don't have my extension cords set up yet so my lighting is back there that's my glam core light so i'm just using natural light i don't really know the lighting situation in this room so hopefully it's okay please bear with me i just wanted to get a video up i was on such a consistent roll so i was like mm, i should I should do a video and I got my ColourPop Raw Beauty Christie palette or collection in the mail so I was like well may as well do a video. So just please bear with me while I figure everything out um, during this transition. Hopefully I can reduce the echo in here because that's even annoying me right now. Anyway the whole point of this video is I got the Raw Beauty Christie and ColourPop collection in the mail. I bought it myself on launch day. This is not PR. I thought I was gonna get it in PR. I thought I was gonna have two and then I could do a little giveaway, but that didn't happen. So I'm kind of glad I purchased it. So obviously you guys know what it looks like. I feel like I'm kind of late because it must have gotten stopped at the border or something because it just came in the mail. So this is a little late. So I thought I'd do not really like a review or first impressions because this isn't even available right now. I'm pretty sure it's still sold out. But I thought I'd do like a little holiday tutorial because look, like... It's a good holiday palette, you know what I mean? So I got the entire collection which comes with the palette. It also comes with four super... Sh you can only see two. This is hard. Okay. For Super Shock Shadows. I will say I have these swatched and the shades Olympic and Mycelium. I wish they were a little more different. I'll open them up so you can take a peek. I'm sure you guys have seen these before. I just feel like they're really similar to be in the same collection. This one is slightly darker and a little more peachy and this one's a little more champagne, but like, they're really freaking similar. I don't know. I wish you had chosen a different color, but obviously it's not my collection, so. I do love the Super Shocks, and I do love these tones of Super Shocks, so I know they will get used, but I'm just saying. I just wish there was a little more of a difference between the colors, I guess. And then it comes with three eyeliners. I only have two because the third one is a dark brown, and I'm gonna put it in the giveaway because I have so many dark brown eyeliners, I don't need another one. Uh, one thing I didn't want to mention is when I opened this up, the entire eyeliner fell out. Uh, it came broken, so I'm gonna contact ColourPop customer service about that. If it was just the eyeliner breaking, um, that would be one thing. However, I got this lip gloss. I got two glosses. The Glacier one, which is the clear with the sparkles, it arrived fine, but this one arrived and all of the lettering is rubbed off, which is a little bit concerning. I don't know what happened there. I just opened it like that and I was like, oh, that would be kind of weird that she wrote gloss like that. Like, where's the rest of the G? And then I compared it to the other one and it's supposed to say Lux gloss on it. And I was like, oh, so the entire, like half of the writing is completely off. And that was when I just opened it. So I'm gonna contact ColourPop customer service because if it was just one of those things, I probably wouldn't have said anything, but like just the two together, I'm kind of like, mm. and one of my followers actually reached out and her um, green eyeliner came and there was no like little mushrooms at the top. It was just an eyeliner. So I don't know what was going on there. Let me know if you got this collection and there was any quality control abnormalities. I'd be interested to know because I haven't heard a lot about it. So also a lot of my followers have reached out and said that this whole like eyeliner falling out of the tube has happened to them like multiple times. It's never happened to me. It has happened to me, but like it's always been like once I've been using it quite a bit, you know what I mean? Like it never happened to me right off the bat, like as soon as I opened it. So it's kind of like, 
Anyway, I just wanted to mention that and also the shipping time was like really awful. However, I will give them a bit of a break because shipping times for almost everything is really bad right now because of the pandemic and it's the holiday season. So I let that go, it's fine. But yeah, I just wanted to share a little bit of my customer experience because usually I'm getting things in PR and um, obviously I never, well, not obviously, but I've never had any issues receiving their PR. Like nothing's arrived broken, nothing's been, you know, like there hasn't been a hair out of place. Everything's been perfect. So I don't know if that's just because I've been getting PR. Like, I don't know if people's stuff has been arriving like wonky. I don't know. Makes me question everything. I will stop rambling. And I think today I want to do like a little bit of a holiday look. I think I'm mainly going to use the palette because I know a lot of people just got the palette and didn't get the entire collection. I am going to use the Super Shocks and the eyeliner, but, but this look can be achieved with just the palette alone if that makes sense. Because I know a lot of people just got the palette. Anyway, I'll stop rambling. Let's just get on to it. Hello, I'm zoomed in and let's get started. Hopefully you can't. Mm, does my mirror bug you guys? Maybe I'll just like scooch a little this way. Or I guess I have, does this have a mirror? Oh, perfect, it does. Okay, I don't need this one then. Sorry, I'm still getting everything figured out in this new place. I don't know what I'm gonna do setup wise. Okay, so. I have nice clean brushes here. I washed them last night. That's unlike me. I almost never wash my brushes, not my personal ones. I always wash my client ones in between clients, obviously, but my personal ones, I kind of neglect them a little bit, but they're nice and fresh for this video. I think I want to do like a really warm gold eye. I think that's what's going to go down. Okay. So I'm going to start off with the nice mustardy orange yellow called Chantrelle. Chantrelle? Chanterelle? 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 I don't know. This will also be a first impressions. I haven't even as much as swatched this palette. I swatched the su Super Shock shades, but not this palette. It was a little busy yesterday, so. I mean, I don't think there will be any quality issues with the eyeshadows, so. I'm just gonna go in with that nice warm shade. I feel like this is like a really good holiday palette. Like there's the greens, there's some gold, there's some burgundy. The only one that's not super holiday, I'd say, is like, Pacific Northwest, which is the blue, but it's still so beautiful. So I'm just blending this kind of in my transition area, just like so. That's a really pretty color. I love colors like this. This kind of reminds me of, um, I can't remember the name of it, but that similar color that's in the Jaclyn Hill palette, which was also one of my faves. So I'm just going back in little by little and kind of building up this color, just so it's like a really nice, vibrant yellowy orange. I also love how cohesive this collection is. Like it really, she really did a good job. Next, I'm gonna go into this warm brown, warm ready brown called Rainier, Rainier? I don't know, I don't know how you pronounce it. Since I'm filming this on Tuesday, Wednesday, December 2nd, Christy has gone into labor. As of now, as of the last time I checked my phone actually, which was this morning, we have not heard any updates, however, I hope all has gone well for her and I am so excited for her. So I'm just placing this. I'm using um, a Sigma and Jordan Liberty soft shader brush just to place this a little tighter in the crease. It went a little bit higher than I was hoping. I feel like my under eyes are like, or like even just in here are really purple. I'm tired. I've been sleeping really well here though because this new house is very cold and I sleep so much better when it's cold in the room. I don't know about you guys, but just like all bundled up in the blankets, like a little snug slug. I'm just going back in with a little bit of that chanterelle color and just buffing that out. And I just added a little bit more to the outer corner there, but I will also be blending that out. That's very pretty, very um, warm tone, very vibrant. Next up, I'm gonna go into this warm, dark, dark brown called Homegrown. Yeah, homegrown. And I'm just gonna take this on like a little flat brush and I'm just going to add this just to the outer corner here. We also put up our Christmas tree yesterday. Very exciting. I haven't decorated it yet, but I'm excited about that. But yeah, I'm just packing this shade just on the outer lid and I'm going to take that um, shader brush that we used for the previous shade and I'm just tapping it ever so lightly and I'm tapping a little bit off on my hand and I'm just 
kind of bringing that upwards a little bit. And then I'm just going back in and applying it to the lid where I lost the pigment there. I'm so excited to see what Christie's named her little boy. That's so exciting to me. I love finding out people's like name, baby names. Then I'm going in with this little Fenty Precision 220 brush. And I'm gonna go into the gold shade here called West Coast. So beautiful. And I'm going to dampen my brush a little bit, I think. And I'm just going to apply this to my lid. I love gold for the holidays. And this one is like a super pretty bright one. That's a really pretty color. That shimmer also applied very nicely. Also in baby news, Samantha Ravendahl is pregnant and that is amazing for her. I'm so excited. She's one of my faves. And her and Christy being pregnant at the same time. Oh, it's just so sweet. It's so good to see. And I'm just taking what's remaining on this brush and kind of blending it upwards so there's not such a harsh line of where the shimmer stops. Now I'm just going to go in with my KBD tattoo liner and I'm not going to do a wing. I'm just going to kind of line the eyes. So what I'm going to do is this video is already getting long because I don't know how to stop talking. I'm going to do the other eye off camera and I'll probably do my base makeup and then I will come back and we can do the lower lash line because that's where I'm going to get a little fun with it. Oh, Actually, I lied. I'm gonna add one more little step. I'm gonna take the shade Campfire in the Super Shock Shadow. This step is optional, but it kind of goes nicely with the West Coast Gold shade. This reminds me a lot of like Amber Lights from MAC. Do you guys remember when that was all the rage? It's a good time back in the day, you know? But yeah, this step is optional. If you didn't get the uh, Super Shock bundle, you could totally just do this eye and it would look beautiful. But I'm just gonna grab a little bit on my finger. And I don't know why I said it like that, that was weird. And I'm just gonna apply it where the gold ends and the brown begins. You might not even be able to tell a difference. Just for a little extra dimension. Pretty. Okay, now I'll be right back. Okay, so I am back. I hope the lighting hasn't changed too much. I can see that this side of my face is pretty dark. I hope that doesn't bother you guys. Uh, maybe if I just turn to this side. Anyway, okay. So I have my base on and I have my liner and lashes on and this side done. So let's move on. I want to work on the lower lash line quickly. I'm going to take the mm, yeah i'm gonna take the dark brown homegrown shade i'm just using this on a little tiny brush this is a sigma and jordan liberty precision angle and i'm just applying it like i would a liner super close to the lash line and then i'm just gonna blend that out with a little bit of chanterelle chanterelle whatever i'm gonna use the color pop e29 for this also if you're wondering for lashes oh I got a little eye crusty right there. If you're wondering what my lashes are, it's the House of Lashes and Patrick Ta in the style She's a Natural. And then for the waterline, I'm gonna go in with the green. This is in the shade Spare Time. It's such a cute name. I'm gonna be really careful so that this doesn't fall out. And I'm just gonna line the waterline. Just like that, very pretty and subtle. The trees are swaying in the wind and it's making my lighting all wonky. Okay, so that was successful. This didn't fall out, so that's always good. I'm just doing my lower lash line with my Essence Lash Princess Mascara. Man, I really hate that mascara. It is like Clump City, but I'm trying to use it up. For bronzer, I'm gonna go in with the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in the shade number two. I'm using this on a ColourPop F32 brush. It's so dark on this side, I'm having a hard time seeing. I'm gonna have to figure that out. For blush, I'm just gonna use the blush that I was using um, as my mirror. It's from the uh, Dark Blooms collection. It's palatial. I'm just gonna put a little bit on my nose cause you know, it's winter, right? That lighting changing is driving me crazy. And for highlighter, I'm gonna go in with my Tarte Amazonian Clay Exposed. I've been using this a lot lately in my videos just cause I'm trying to like use it up. Once I hit pan on it, I was like, gung-ho about it. Then I'm just gonna set my face using the Glisten Up Spray. Ooh, a little bit got in my eye there. For lips, I am going to keep it traditional, traditional, and I'm gonna do a red. 
feel like that's kind of expected of this look, but I'm gonna do it. This is Pixie Beauty's Real Red. It's like my favorite right now. Oh, I got some on my teeth. That's great. And then, since I'm not actually wearing this look anywhere, I'm gonna top it with the ColourPop Gloss. I'm gonna use the shade Glacier, the one without the writing rubbed off. And I'm just gonna put a little bit on the back of my hand so I don't get the two ball yucky. If I were gonna wear this out though, honestly, I wouldn't add the gloss just because it's gonna get everywhere. And this is the completed look. Very festive, very holiday. I'll zoom you in on this side because this eye is watering and the lash is popping off, so this is the better eye. I really, I really quite enjoy the subtle pop of green. I don't think it's too much. I don't think it's like too holiday, if you know what I'm saying. Like I don't feel like I'm wearing elf makeup, if that makes sense. <laughs> anyway, so obviously this is the complete look. Please don't mind my hair. It's just doing its own thing today. Overall, I really like the collection as I expected to, um, just the quality issues that I mentioned at the beginning of the video, but everything performed really well as I knew it would. And yeah, let me know what you guys picked up from the collection and if you've been loving it so far. I can't wait to play with it more. I'm really excited to play with the greens. I really like green eyeshadow lately for some reason. Like it was really hard for me not to do a green eyeshadow look, but I didn't because I just did one with the ColourPop The Child palette, so. I'll leave that in the cards if you want to check it out. But yeah, it was really hard not to do greens, so maybe I'll do that next. Who knows? So yeah, that's it from me today. Please don't forget to subscribe. If you don't, that's okay. It really helps my channel out just you watching, so thank you so much. Please let me know if you have any requests and leave them in the comments below, and I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.